गुड मॉर्निंग माई लवली व्यूअर्स हैव ए वंडरफुल डे हेट वेलकम टू हिमालयन क्रॉनिकल्स थैंक्स फॉर लाइकिंग शेयरिंग एंड सब्सक्राइबिंग टू द लवली चैनल हिमालयन क्रॉनिकल्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू विटनेस जयपुर वागा एंड अमृतसर द गोल्ड एंड ट्राइंगल टूर यू कैन सी द ब्यूटिफुल जयपुर सिटी वेरी वंडरफुल क्लाइमेट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू विटनेस द ब्यूटिफुल प्लेसेस ऑफ जयपुर जयपुर इज ऑफन कॉल्ड एज द सिटी ऑफ द पैलेसेस we are going to witness beautiful places like birla mandir uh, you know jaipur fort and couple of other places very wonderful tour indeed we have enjoyed the best months to visit jaipur would be around winter time probably uh, from november to march similarly from august to december it would be great very beautiful climate you can see a distant fort over here now we can also see the backdrop the great birla mandir very wonderful videography and photography is not allowed inside but you can see the beautiful architecture from outside very wonderful place very very wonderful so often you need to deposit your mobile devices and your leather items in the cloak room before you enter the beautiful birla temple i hope you definitely take the blessings before you start the journey very wonderful temple indeed Thanks for watching guys uh, so next place would be Albert Hall Museum very beautiful museum uh, it's in Jaipur the capital city of Rajasthan very beautiful indeed it, photography and videography both are allowed Albert as a person who curated all the precious items around the world and he has created a beautiful museum from outside it looks like a big palace videography photography was luckily allowed and we in fact took the audio graphy so there is an audio tour available see the beautiful architecture indo european culture palace and there are a lot of paintings from the european dynasty very beautifully well maintained and you can see the pharaoh the egyptian curvatures over here very beautiful the big mighty cat the symbol of the luck in the egypt pharaoh dynasty you can see the beautiful the gautam buddha and lot of artifacts from across the world were collected and displayed at the albert hall museum the beautiful fort over here this is almost i mean like a palace a very big palace uh, now we are entering the great pink city so it is called as pink market all the buildings were actually designed in pink color and every new building is supposed to be colored in pink as well to maintain the uniformity it's a very beautiful market place you can see lot of dresses lot of you know different different clothing merchants the complete market like similar to like kanot circle in delhi similarly the only difference is ethnic wear handicrafts hotels everything is available in this beautiful pink city so that's why we call jaipur as a pink city because the and all the buildings in this street are colored in pink color that's a municipality rule even any new building is constructed it should be in pink color <laughs> very vibrant very beautiful indeed so now we are going to witness the beautiful hawa mahal it is very near to this uh, pink city marketplace so this pink city marketplace is covered with uh, four boundary gates you can enter this market by either of these gates very beautiful indeed So as I said, uh, parking would be a little bit cumbersome, but uh, try to park near a hotel or probably any restaurant, and then you can see all these places by foot as well. Very beautiful, and there are some old buildings, new buildings. All of them are in the pink color. You can see it looks like a palace. This particular left side building looks like a palace indeed. So that's why we call it as a city of palaces. Most of the buildings they look like palaces from outside. even there are indeed real palaces which are converted to hotel like ethnic hotels where ideally tourism boost 
over there very beautiful indeed so we are going to arrive at the hawa mahal a beautiful hawa mahal palace with almost 900 colored windows which is decorated very widely very great monument that you should not miss it whoever comes to jaipur you have to witness the birla mandir the hawa mahal the jaipur fort and lot of other places indeed so stay tuned guys i hope you will enjoy this beautiful serene ethnic video there we are about to enter the hawa mahal it is a beautiful palace with 953 windows built in 1799 ad the timings uh, for the visit would be morning 9 to evening 5 plan your day accordingly it's a beautiful palace from the front side you can see the beautiful architecture colored in the pink and with the colored windows green red and blue very beautiful indeed i would say it's spell bounding so whoever comes here people take lot of good pictures you might have seen this was covered in many of the movies the bollywood movies so this is the original hawa mahal 953 windows 1790 ad from outside this is actually within the pink city within the pink city market road very beautiful indeed very very beautiful So this is constructed in 1790 AD lime limestone construction, and it is well built, very beautiful indeed. And uh, to say more about Hawa Mahal, I would say uh, you need to come here, okay? And it is built in red and pink sandstone by the grandson of Maharaja Sawai Jai Singh, who was the founder of Jaipur. It was built by Pratap Singh. in around 1799 architectural style was rajput architecture now you can see the beautiful jal mahal 1699 ad on the beautiful lake mansagar lake this was not allowed for the tourist there is a hotel maintained by taj group of hotels you need to book the hotel to go inside the beautiful jal mahal so guys i hope you are liking this video Welcome once again. Welcome to the Amber Fort. This is a fort located in Amber, Rajasthan, India. It is almost very near, about 11 kilometers from Jaipur, the capital of Rajasthan. The town of Amber and the Amber Fort was built by Raja Alan Singh in around 967 AD. Later ruled by Kachawaha Rajputs. It located very high on a hill. It is the principal tourist attraction in Jaipur. Amber Fort is known for its artistic style elements. very beautiful you can see the mota lake down below it is on a cliff so it is controlled by uh, the archaeological survey of india and is declared a unesco world heritage as part of hills forts of rajasthan the mogal architecture greatly influenced the architectural style of several buildings of the fort constructed with red sandstone and marble the attractive Opulent palace is laid out on four levels each with a courtyard. It consists of hall for public audience, 
hall of private audience and a shish mahal and shish mahal is nothing but uh, the mahal made by glass you can see beautiful elephant rites happening like the prehistoric royal feeling that you can get if you ride these elephants very beautiful there you can see the beautiful shish mahal which is about to appear here very beautiful shish mahal this mahal is made of lot of glasses a very pristine work accurate work was established for making this shish mahal so many lovely people they come here the lovely couples take lot of good pictures see the beauty the artistic beauty of this shish mahal i would guarantee if you come here you going to spend lot of time looking at the minute artifacts of the rajasthani culture the rajasthani designs and so on So there we have the mighty golden temple also known as Harmandir Sahib the abode of god very beautiful located in Amritsar Punjab India it is a spiritual site of sikhism built in 1581 AD gurudwara is built around a man made pool sarovar that was completed by the fourth sikh guru guru ram das in 1577 and uh, this beautiful temple completed in 1604 AD this is a beautiful temple with the beautiful lake very serene atmosphere and this is rebuilt in marble and copper in 1809 and overlaid with a gold foil in 1830 this has led the name the golden temple the people come here they have the beautiful temple views
beautiful golden temple, the new wonders of the world. The next point is the Jallianwala Bagh, the massacre which happened on 13th April 1919. We can still see the grandier area, Jallianwala Bagh. You know, it's a big garden where 192 people were seriously injured, around 1,200 people were injured, along with more than 390 killed. This narrow passage to the entrance, Jallianwala Bagh, where the massacre occurred, and this was built on almost 19th century. This beautiful, the revelation by the British army. see here almost 300 people were dead or killed due to the gun firing and they blocked the main exits and this was almost like a war the firing continued for approximately 10 minutes unarmed civilians including men women elderly people children were killed and it's also known as amritsar massacre apart from many deaths the number of people died of crushing at the narrow gates were more than that and few people they jumped in the well the nearby well to save themselves the total casualties is still not very clear but as around 200 casualties as per the press and you can see almost i can still hear those noises behind the silent walls you can still see the bullet marks everywhere on those walls and somehow when you travel here when you enter this beautiful jalinwala bag you will feel that extreme pain in your heart and how you will see you need to go to the museum just beside it there is a museum built which explains the whole point of struggle how it happened why it happened and there is also a memorial which was built as well the same spot
here you can see the bullet marks all across the wall these walls are the boundaries of this garden very horrifying sight just to witness this place itself horrifying i can imagine how it would be at that point of time when the actual massacre was happening is a visual representation about the dead bodies when it happened the massacre at jalinwara bagh and an artist has painted all these bodies to just symbolize how it would have happened at that point of time very sad to witness these moments in our history in human history itself this massacre was very horrible and inhuman so he is uddham singh whose mother was also expired during the same jalinwala bagh massacre
now we are witnessing Maharaja Ranjit Singh Panorama Exhibition which depicts how the Britishers have come to Punjab, how they have come to the Maharaja Ranjit Singh and you can see the culture during those times, during the Maharaja Ranjit Singh rule. You can see there are a lot of merchants discussing among the goods and services. It also depicts the life forms during that point of era, how the marriages used to happen and the culture, the ethnic tribes and also ethnicity, the clothing, everything is depicted in this wonderful panorama exhibition. So guys, I hope you will enjoy this particular clippings. So this museum was almost built in the 19th century, very beautifully enacted over here. It explains a ritual, the wedding ritual of the Maharaja with the princess. You can see the beautiful enaction of this event, very visually restored with these 3D objects in the panorama. I hope you will enjoy this video in its entirety.
निकाल के उसका Thank you. 